there's the chop block. Oh, oh no. Shot of the day there for me, Johnny. Wow. Oh, the title. Oh, there's that chop block. Johnny! Oh my goodness! Ben Marlon takes it three in a row! Back to back to back! Okay, so today I'm going to say it. Marlong is the greatest table tennis player of all time. So what makes him so good? Let's find out. So the current Olympic and world champion Ma Long just took part in the first showcase of World Table Tennis in Macau. For those wondering, World Table Tennis is ITTF's new flagship international tournament structure and aims to take table tennis to the next level. I was lucky enough to be commentating at the event with Johnny Cohen, a top geezer. During the commentary, I was able to watch all of Ma Long's matches and during this time, it just dawned on me that Ma Long might just be the perfect table tennis player. I mean, look at this. Fantastic. So early, the ball is so low. And it's recovery with that big swing. If he changes anything up, goes short into the forehand. Stays over the table. Whoa! That was the push flick. We've seen that in the past for Marlon. What a great game. Yeah, what a great game. What a great, great game. I mean, the guy's virtually got no weaknesses. Let's take a look at some of the things that make him so perfect. Firstly, his forehand. I mean, I'm sure you can guess it. Marlong's forehand is insane. His shot efficiency, his consistency and timing, and the way he executes a shot is just so powerful. Marlong's able to be so relaxed, but at the same time put so much venom into his shots. Just check out some of Ma Long's forehands throughout the World Table Tennis event. When his forehands gets going, there's simply no stopping him. Oh my goodness, and that's Ma Long at his best! Oh, wow. I'm oh, <laughs> Relentless from Marlow. Ten for Marlow. Give the guy a breather. No, yeah. no, no. You can see there in that forehand, Marlong so explosive moves into the table and his weight transfer is phenomenal. Another thing that makes Marlong's forehand so effective is his ability to counter topspin almost anything. You can see here in his top final seed against Xu Xing. Just look at the way he sets his forehand counter up. As soon as he's served, you can see here in slow-mo, Marlong knows exactly where he needs to be. He quickly pivots and releases a relentless forehand counter. Marlong always seems to be one step ahead of his opponent, and that is what makes him so good. He's so tactically aware. Oh. <laughs> Marlong makes that look easy. Again, look at this one. In a strong rally, Marlong is there on the counter, moves into it, and just beats his opponent through sheer speed. Now guys, if you're wondering what the top four seeded battle is, it's a new concept by World TT, where the top four seeds play off against each other to decide what order they get to pick their quarterfinal opponents in. Here's Marlong picking out his next victim. I <laughs> I gotta say, I love the idea of where players choose who they play against. It creates tension, beef, and I feel like it really brings the personality amongst the players, and also just the, you know, a bit more rivalry and fun and, and just more variation to events. Anyways, so as you can see, Marlong picked Jung Young Sik as his quarterfinal opponent. Let's take a look in this match. Another key thing to Marlong's game is his ability to control the game when he's under attack, when he's on the back foot especially on the backhand side. To see if he changes anything up, goes short into the forehand. Stays over the table, <laughs> but no. His eyesight, can he, can he give? He just sees him moving, look. Watch, here we go. And poof, into the space. Something about Marlon's backhand, it's so safe. He rarely makes mistakes. Even when he's on the back foot, he can hold the ball in, he can block it well, he can find the angle, and he can counter off his backhand so easily and so effortlessly. His backhand block control stability is one of the key features that makes Ma Long the greatest of all time. Look at the power of Goyan, he's punching into that ball! Oh my word! <laughs> Look at the body action here! 
last one. That. He's given it his all. All right, so I might be bigging up Marlong right now, but even the greatest gets struck by the donkey. Right here. Ah, oh, Jung Young Six going exhibition. I don't blame. Here we go. Great stuff for WTT Macau. Oh, he, oh, oh man! We've got a donkey of the fun. day. That was such a high lob. Hey, <laughs> Jung's loving it. Oh. 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 We've got a donkey Very of the fun. day. That was such a high lob. Hey, Jung's loving it. Something I really love about Ma Long, and one of the key reasons why he's so dominant, is his short game, in particular his return of serve. It's so deceptive, he can change at very last second, making it so difficult for his opponent to set themselves. Just take a look at some of these points in the semi-final stages against Lin Gao Yan. Oh, what a backhand. Here he is, 9 free up. And there's that fight again. Wow. So in the final of the World Table Tennis Macau event was where he really got to see Ma Long at his best. He was up against one of China's best young stars, Wan Chu Chin, who absolutely dominated the tournament up to this point. Ma Long, being Ma Long though, went up another gear and showed us what he's all about. Let's just sit back and watch Ma Long in action. Oh yes, the ball's on the string. No! Just seen a full array of fight. shots from Ma Long, the full menu. We mentioned earlier about how Ma Long sets his forehand up so well. Check out this chop block here. He's so creative, he knows exactly what he's doing, and it allows him to set himself up for that beastly forehand winner. Oh, one. Again, always one chest move ahead against his opponent. And Ma Long did this chop block forehand combo a few times in this final. It just shows how creative he is and how he can get out of tricky situations. Well, there's the chop block. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Shot of the day there for me, Johnny. Wow. Will he do it, Ma Long? Johnny! He does! He gives us the sword for Sydney! Chin, but he does it. Ma Long. Sensational. So there we go, guys. Ma Long won the match 5-1 in games. How is it possible to beat a player as good as Wang Chu Chin 5-1? It was just spectacular to watch. So guys, there's just some of the reasons why I think Ma Long is just so damn good and why I think he's the GOAT of table tennis. Do you agree or would you go for Waltner? Or maybe there's someone else entirely. So, well TT, is it the future? Personally, I love the arena and I really liked how they experimented with a lot of different concepts such as the best of nine games in the final as well as the other shorter games, best of five, up to five points in the top four seed battles and of course the game deciders. I gotta say, my favourite part throughout was the prize money on offer. It was fantastic and I think it's a really great step forward for the public perception and for the players that took part. I liked how in each round as players progressed there was prize money, it made it a bit, bit more jazzy and I just felt like it was more modern doing it in this style. Now lastly, World Table Tennis decided to go for the side camera angle look as their main camera angle. This really got a lot of people talking. Now what did you think of the new camera angle? In my opinion, I like having the side angle as an option, as you can see the depth of the rallies, but I prefer this angle which was used at the event, and I'd rather have this as the main angle. But that's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. So guys, we've got a lot to look forward to in 2021, with World Table Tennis releasing many more new exciting events, and also with Ma Long looking to be the first man to win two Olympic single golds. Can he do it? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe guys, thanks for watching.